Ah! There we go. Okay, cool. Cool, all right, time to get back into this. Galaxy map open. Got anything to say, Navigator Presley? If anyone has to take over Captain Anderson, I'm glad Anderson. it's you. I'm not sure about this having humans on our ship, though. What do you mean? Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. Yeah, let me know if you're racist. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. Well, it's got more complicated than that. Hate to say. This is bigger than humanity. Saren's a threat to every species in the galaxy. And I'll welcome anyone who wants to help me bring him down. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. All right, later. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. See who else we can find and talk to. That's nothing. Blue. Yo, yo, yo. Gaiden, what you doing? Anything you need, Commander? Um, just trying to get sure. a sense of where Looking the crew's at. But thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to E Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. Yeah. We'll talk another Fair time, enough. Lieutenant. Commander. Ooh, do I got anything in my locker? Those all suck. I'll reduce to OMG jail. Meta jail. It's down here. Garrus, Ashley, Alliance Requisition Officer, my favorite companion. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Ooh, well, good leg. as long as you don't mind paying for it. Hey, you. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's see what you've got. Yeah, why not? You bet, Commander. Oh, it's top tier weapons, aren't they? Uh, but I will buy a Metagel upgrade, why not? Excuse me? Buy? Why can't I buy it? I'm confused. Oh, I know. This is the buy menu, and then I gotta. Aha! I see. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. What you mean? Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. But CSAC Hell yeah. is carried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Screw that, brother. Being a specter does have its advantages. Exactly my point. 
If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. I see. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. It's tough decision. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Sounds good to me. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. At juicy XP. Commander? How we doing? What's your opinion on the last mission? Kind of wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... Stop dueling. I'm crying. Best we we came as soon as we got the distress call. Even with the fastest ship in the fleet. You did the best you could, Commander. It's my fault. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. We never trained to fight synthetics. The Geth haven't gone beyond the Vale in three centuries. Our training's supposed to make us able to adapt. Damn I'll straight. make sure it doesn't happen again. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Dismiss, Chief. Sir. Ah, there's Rex. Tally. Okay, I can equip everyone from their locker. That's pretty dope. Nice ship you've got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. I love listening to him talk. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Come on. You Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. Ooh, that's unfortunate. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It isn't? It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I see your point. I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. I won't. Sorry. Sorry. Right. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. What is? Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. Interesting. Okay, yeah, I kind of remember a little bit some details of the Krogan backstory. Let's hear more about the Genophage. What can you tell me about the Genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. 
It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. All so, right. Well, thanks. later. That's a that's a sad story. Engineer Adams, what's up? Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. Is she bothering you? I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I didn't. That'd be so mean. Sorry you're a touch late. You're driving to come visit your cat. Yeah, no worries. You're not too late. I'm only been alive for 16 minutes. I figured you'd be a real asset to the team. Uh, just talking to the crew. Talent, Commander, but I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Uh, Fill me in on the IES stealth systems. How does it work exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give away our location. Eventually the sinks are invented. More than a few hours silent running and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. So we're invisible? There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Makes Most sense. vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up the FTL, blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight, but for short range missions, our stealth systems are amazing. Nice. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Get all the XP. Play EXP Codex Goblin. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm but, sorry how you to doing? understand why you humans have been so successful. That was to Pathos, no not to Tally. <laughs> Uh, is ship special? The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. You're into ships, eh? I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. 300 years ago. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Mm, makes sense. Kind of interested in the Geth since you made them. I want to know more about the Geth. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins, what they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Uh, tell me. Interesting. Doing all right. Almost done with the island the one. With island one. To serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence was as limited as Sorry, any I'll AI. Sorry, I'll then. Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. Oh, okay. 
Doing all right. Almost done with the island one on the ultra boot nuzlocke. Cool. That's good. How come the council didn't step in and stop you? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. Why'd they turn on you? What made them rebel? As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. One day, a Geth began to ask its Quarian overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? As you can imagine, you serve butter. this caused a near panic among my people. What did you do? It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us, so we acted first. A general order went out across all Quarian-controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order violently. Mm, yeah, they kind of defended themselves. You can't blame them for fighting for their survival. We had no other choice. The Geth were already on the verge of revolution. By acting quickly, we had a chance to end the war before it began. The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the Veil. Now we drift through space, exiled, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. Yeah, that'd be really mean if I was like, serve you right. All right, well, bye. I should go. See you later. Good talk. Okay, let's actually go somewhere now. I've finished talking to everyone. So how to totem eradicate go? Hey, let's figure out where we're gonna go. Capital of the Citadel Council. Back out again. Controls. Okay, escape. Serpent Nebula. I go to Novaria first. Since it's closer. And I don't remember where the actual. Probably that, yeah, that's Novaria. It was over here. Solar system. Let's see. Can do anything on these planets? Survey. A League of One medallion. Oh, 
I kind of forgot how, like, in depth this was in terms of, like, the various planets that you can maybe not go to, but at least look at. And it's, like, really does a lot in replicating solar systems. Smaller than Earth's moon. Survey. Small. Ooh, small abandoned vessel. Matriarch Dilanaga's writing. Okay, I don't. Oops. Whoa. I don't know how that's relevant to me, but let's actually land on Novaria. Small frozen terrest uh, terrestrial world, barely habitable by conventional definitions, privately charred by the Novaria, blah, 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 blah. Uh, source of many wild conspiracy theories. Okay, well, let's go. Approach control, this is the SSV Normal, requesting a vector into birth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Yeah, Citadel a little business. eye roll. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. I love that. It's like, we got a specter. We can do what we want, bitch. Arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. I think I was liking Garrison Rex for a decent bit of, uh, it leaves our tech strength a little lacking, but I'll go with this for now. Plus, I just like them the most. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Oh, we get the welcoming, welcoming squad. That's far enough. You know what? Fuck you. I'm a specter. Step aside. I'm on important business. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. With the council. I'm a specter. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, man. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. No, yeah, back the fuck up. Don't try it. I'm keeping my gun. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two, three. Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You, you do what we want. Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini san will meet you upstairs. Parasini san. You hate yourself. Fuck you. I am Gianna Parasini. Assistant to Administrator Analeas, we apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Ah, uh, okay, thank you. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? I heard there were Geth here. 
Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Saren's aide is he. I need to talk to her. Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Hmm. Novaria first. Interesting. Makes me think that this is an uncommon choice. I'll need directions. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Uh, why so many guards? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The Executive Board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. Well, I'm not there here for them. I'm not here to dig out any corporate secret. That's gratifying to hear. Understood. Good. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the administrator's office. Yeah, I just picked it because it was closest. And I didn't remember which plan it was what. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. Well, there's for the uh, safety and to protect the privacy of others. You just gave the reason, so no particular reason other than that. Security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. Can level anything up? Oh God, you can have so many level ups. That sounds good. I must not have uh, leveled him up at all when I immediately got him. Or when I initially got him. Hey, one of these things. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. It affects how certain situations play out a bit. Good to know. You heard already? News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed Spectre. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. They can fuck themselves. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. Ah, uh, hey, Nar, that's right. Uh, smuggling, in other words. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I appreciate the honest. That is not inaccurate. Ah, sure, fuck I it. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? What are you selling? Could I buy something now? Is there anything in particular the Spectre is looking for? Ow, just give me a thing of all of them, damn it. Um, let's look at upgrades. I, I can't afford anything. Alright, screw it. I don't remember where Analeas's office is over here somewhere. I think I'm going the wrong way. Ah! Press the wrong button. Here it is. I think I remember this. Oh, you got here quick. How can I help you? You like teleported. 
I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Interesting right, point. Fine, come in. Right, fine, come in. Ah, he's a Salarian, that makes sense. I was, I was attaching that voice onto a human at first. It sounded weird. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. Okay, I'm going to ignore that. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Um, I'm looking I'm not for here someone. to investigate your tenants. Nevertheless, I have a responsibility to keep you away from them. Spectres are not encumbered by a need for due process. Tell me about... I've heard an Asari matriarch, matriarch is here. Venezia. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. Fine, personal escort. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. Sort of cargo. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. And I need to see her. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. So we drive. Because I'm a giga chad. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. Goodbye. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. You chose the bottom option. The second oh, ship's like, and I represent You've the second guessing the of a galactic world, law. Commander. You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. Don't underestimate me. I can bludgeon pretty hard. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. All right, wink, wink. I got Talk you. Talk to you later. Very well. You're getting bludgeoned pretty hard. I like that. All right, hotel bar. I think hotel is somewhere here. Uh, on the opposite side. No, that's synthetic insight. You're a unique named person, though, so <laughs> I want to talk to you. Spectre, right? Yes. Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my Eagles people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. So what can I do for you today? Oh, well, maybe I can get out of here by you as well. I need to leave the station. How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas or the managers. If you can polish enough gizzard. Polish oh, enough gizzard? Uh, do you have one? Maybe you could let me borrow yours? Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm, security tracks card use. All right, well. I have to go. Useless. You need anything? I'll be... Smug tone on the delivery of that line. You mentioned it's hilarious. I'll have to listen to it at some point. Ah, it represent the second guessing of galactic law. Here, I think, is the hotel. Yeah. Nope. Ow, fuck. Well, nasty surprise for anyone wanting to use the elevator, I guess. 
<laughs> I like how the combat music played. Oh my god. Excuse me, I need a moment of your time. Who are you? The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Have we met? Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. Damn. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. Why should I trust you? Strange people skulking in corners have gotten me in trouble before. I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What's your interest in binary helix? They do genetics work. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. What's my reward? I don't do nothing for free. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. 500? That doesn't seem like that much, but whatever. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. You do, you do it. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, mm. he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. Hey, what's up, Max? If you see that, oh, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. Hydrate. Okay. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. That's the uh, dude we need to talk to for the past, but let's. What sort of this Vargas. Good. There he is. What's up, Vargas? Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance Military. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas sales. Were you interested in our services? Oh, yeah. It's customary to perform minor genetic upgrades upon enlistment. I've been assigned to see what BH has to offer. It was my understanding that the Alliance contracted to Mars Gene for its enhancement programs. Yeah, correct. But we might be able to cut a new deal. I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. What about pain immunity? Is it possible to deaden pain somehow? What? But, uh, we, we could try to make the skin insensate, I suppose. Full body numbness, atrophy out all the nerve clusters, you'd still feel internal injuries. But that's dangerously close to genetic engineering, Shepard. The laws only allow improvement of natural functions. We can't add or remove. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits oh, per head. There's the tell. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package. Guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. Right when you mentioned the price, that seems high. Are you sure that's the best price you can offer? Absolutely. That's the standard rate. Of course, if the government moves forward with this on an official level, there might be some additional discounts. I have to admit, it surprised me that you're here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria. Some Ooh, not at the time. Again. You sound guilty. 
Does Binary Helix have any less than above board projects? I'll keep my source confidential. Certainly not. Our corporate reputation is sterling. I can assure you Dirty. all of Binary Helix's operations on Noveria are strictly on the level. Oh, well, I'm being paged. Sounds like my crew needs me for something. I'll be in touch. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to hearing from the Alliance. And I'm going to go right in here, which is like perfectly within view of him, and just talk to you. Any results? It's done. Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. Ooh, we can squeeze more. It's all? Only 500. All right. I thought you might have wanted to provide more, since you couldn't do it yourself. Oh, since you couldn't do it yourself. Did I say 500 credits? There we go. I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. Cutting the cheddar. How we do it. All right, now I need to talk to you. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Lorik Queen? Are you Lorik Keen? I've Keen. heard you might be able to help you. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? Spectre? Me? What makes you think I'm a Spectre? Your picture has been sent to every employee. They've been warned that speaking to you is grounds for termination. Damn. Lorik Keen. For the moment, I am the manager of the Synthetic Insights office. <laughs> Managing the bar today? Taking a three martini lunch? You mean my loitering here? Three if martini lunch, here, that's so place. good. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct hmm. control of rents. An interesting, or in an intriguing coincidence. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let All right, you Alright, I off. scratch your back, you scratch mine, little thing. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Oh, sounds good. That sounds like a fair trade. Violence against Mr. Analeas' thugs may be necessary. Ooh, he has I'm, members of the security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. Figure something out. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? I got a Krogan with me. I don't know. I can't I can't promise anything. Silence. Silence for that elevator ride, I guess. Yeah, look at that blizzard outside. I feel like Garrus and Rex could have some interesting elevator convos. Come on, talk to each other. Freeze! Hanshan security. This office is sealed. He let me in. Laura Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. You to leave while you can. I'm going in there and I don't want to hurt you. Why don't you just go? We'll pretend this never happened. You want to oh, well, it's not. <laughs> oh.
Well, I don't see any carpets here, so you know, I think uh, I think I succeeded. In uh, at least not getting any blood stains on the carpet. Are there more? Yeah, there's a dude up upstairs. I like how that just crumples people, the th the push ability or whatever it is. I think that just about does it. Description, decryption skill too low. Oh, we got more. Ah, you. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Your point? Do you plan on making me leave? Leave? You think I'm gonna let you walk Do out? Do you see all the dead bodies? Uh -uh. You Analytics think you have you stand you a chance? World for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off-duty, breaking the law for bribe money. I'm on a mission. I have a mission to complete. I did what I had to. Oh. Goodbye. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh. I didn't know there was someone who snuck up behind me. Oof. I just got hit by an explosion that I didn't even know where it came from. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Do you plan on making me leave? Leave? You think I'm gonna let you walk out? Uh-uh. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off duty, breaking the law for bribe money. Bring it on. If you want to fight, I'll give you one. You got the talk. Let's see if you can walk after I break your legs. Uh-oh, Rex is down. I think I might have shot him in the face because he got in my way. I know why. Um, God, why am I, like, not... Okay, there, that's it. I need the pistol. I need the precision. Fuck! Alright, this fight is kind of hard. I just like shoot them from here. No. I need to use I my meta gel more. In here, Shepherd. No, I'm not. Are you? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you Your off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sergeant. You're here off duty. Alright. <laughs> I am I am getting wrecked. Alright, let's heal up here. Us. Where are all my abilities again? Part of the problem is I like forgot all my abilities. Adrenaline burst. Marksman. That. Oh, up there. I don't think you're supposed 
Analyze. Your men are dirty, Sarge. All right, cover. Oh, that scares. Help! What the fuck? Considering the difficulty, make sure you think about where you position squad mates and what weapon they have equipped. Um, I feel like they should have the weapon they're good at with equipped. In terms of uh, positioning, I like don't even know how to change that, so they uh, they can figure it out. Your men are. I don't care. Weapon. You down here, you freaks are going to have to die. I think I'm just rushing into it and I just need to stay behind cover. See, easy. You're dead. There we go. Controls for directing their actions. Yeah, there's like Q, Z, I don't like know, it just has an arrow that pops up and I don't even like, I, I like what does that do? I don't know, the game, uh, can't say the game is the best at uh, explaining that. Shield battery sounds good. I'll give you a better shotgun. And actually give you some upgrades too. And I don't have any other assault rifles, which is part of the problem. Ooh, grenade. Let's do it. Can't go in those doors. Yeah, I figured it out. My lanky ass run. I might look up a video detailing the like the positioning thing, because that I is just like why I, I don't even know what that does. It doesn't seem like my squad is actually going to that arrow. So Destination block. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Hmm. Would you know anything about it? Must be Analeas's thugs. Probably Analeas's thugs ripping the place apart. Smart ass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. 
Hmm. Achievement earned, Krogan ally. Interesting. Come on, talk to each other. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. What do you want? What do you want? The executive board knows about Analeas' corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. Okay, well I need his pass. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. Analeas is dirty. It might be best to help her. Look, Shepard, yeah, I don't like that this guy. either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. But... I'll consider it. I'll consider it and get back to you. If you have any love for the law, you'll talk to Keen for me. Don't disappoint me. You know where I work. Come talk to me when you change your mind. I don't promise anything. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? Testify against Analeas. I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Eh. Yeah. Alright, take the evidence then. I had to ask. If you're not willing, here's the evidence. I appreciate your discretion. I hope I will never again be so careless as to find myself in these circumstances. Oopsie poopsie, I couldn't I convince him. I a garage pass. As well, I would provide a sum of 500 credits to Sir. That sounds fair to you. It does. Very fair. Good luck, Mr. I guess I don't have enough, uh, grateful for your help. sweet talking points. My office will reopen with much improved profit margins, Which I, I might say. remedy that, because I did level up. I have some calls to make. And I forgot Starting. to level up in before doing this. Yeah, turn on the charm. <coughs> Might as well get store discount. Okay, barrier I think will be super useful, so I think I'm gonna get uh, warp up. Mr. Analeas. I like the bar music. Turned off. To the garage. I well, I shouldn't have gone around that. It was a long way. Access to the garage is restricted. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. And she's got a very, uh, deer and headlight stare. Ooh. What's this? Some geth? Ah. 
Jeez. Oh god. That's a big boy. Here, I'll be right back. Here we go. Clear the area. No one gets in or out. Is that it? Is that all of them? Okay, I think so. Oh, hi, Michael. Mako. What did you do here, Commander? Beated a Geth ambush. I kind of want to say just business. Only what I had to. I didn't ask the Geth to attack. Geth, you expect me to... Where did they come from? If I were to guess, the Matriarch packed them in the shipping container she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, there are many are you more out there. Talking with Japanese honorifics. <laughs> so weird. I don't know. Benezia Sama. Well, now you know what to look for. We may be seeing a lot more of these things in the coming months. For three centuries, everyone has said the Geth don't come out of the veil. What is happening out there? I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose geth, there may be an investor panic. Ooh, investor panic. Ooh, 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 ooh. There it is, the Mako. She is Japanese. Oh. Well, sure. Yeah, that is fair. But still, it sounds weird when you speak in English and then use Japanese honorifics like that. It's, I don't know, it sounds weird to me. When it's not actually being spoken in Japanese. What? No, I'm not Japanese. Yahoo! I like driving this thing. I suppose, but I don't know how English speaking Japanese approach that sort of thing. I guess I don't as well. I watch enough anime in Japanese with the subtitles that I guess it sounds weird than switching to English and keeping that, but I don't know. Probably not. how certain aspects of culture will function in the future after all. That's also a good point. If I remember correctly, there's like supposed to be another weapon. On the frickin' Mako. So Q and E to move and attack. Order rally is C. Order attack is Z. I'll have to try to keep that in mind. Fire cannon is right mouse button. I thought I was doing that. I, I was clicking right mouse button and nothing was happening.
Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe it's also just me thinking uh, of how many people like unironically use senpai in English. And I always thought that was weird. be doing this. I tell you what happens to you. Yeah, I, I definitely know you get a kick out of it. No, I just wanted to look over to the right. I didn't want to drive off the cliff. Ah, there it is. I if I can destroy that from there. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, shit, that hit me. Hard to drive and, and shoot and aim all at the same time, I gotta say. Yes, I'm playing Legendary Edition. One of the buttons gives you a speed boost. Oh, nice. Forgot about that. Okay, looks like the rest. Oh, I forgot I could do that too. I'll get out. Securing point. There we go. I look sick with my helmet on. I wish I kept it. Ah! Oh! Some healing gears. Alright, this thing is uh, irritating me. Alert. All peak 
15 facilities have suffered a great deal of damage. This is supposed to be up here. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. Virtual intelligence. And I can level up again. Get that and let's get barrier unlocked. Tactical armor. I feel like that could be useful. Uh, but I kind of want to go into shotguns a bit more. Because I really like shotguns. User interface offline. We'll need to get the reactors back online. Anything over there? The uh, lack of any sort of background music is kind of unsettling. Okay, I can't go up there anyway. Facing backwards. Okay. They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. Go back here. Speaking of, uh, Oxic Seals 3. can't get you a better assault rifle. That's still worse. Ah, I can at least give you upgrades for this one. Need some anti-personnel and improved sighting. And I'll give you an armor upgrade. Oh, an explosion. Oh. All right, there's things down here. Let's take these out. He almost ran right into my shotgun. That's one thing I need to do more is like use their abilities. It doesn't seem like they use them on their own. Uh oh. What was that? Probably debris. Don't have a panic attack. I'll protect you. Whoa. I don't like the bugs. Oh god, we're getting swarmed. Rack knife. Ow. Poisoned. Okay, then. Let's 
up. You're good to go. Heal up. Oh, that hurt. Administrator Tarta Tartakovsky. That is the last time. No more. Will I use that transport carrier? Three shipments we lose in Macedon system in one month. They are too stupid to, or too slow. If only Gregor still ran the shipments, he would get what I need, and no mercenaries would dare to stop him. Interesting. Yeah, keep my shoddy out, because bugs could crawl out anywhere. Ooh. Is that better than the pistol I have? Yes. So a little bit lower damage. Eh, actually, it might not be. Actually, what if I take these upgrades out? I don't know if the upgrades are showing. Wait, come on. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't count those as, uh... uh... Yeah, I don't know. I, I still think my pistol's just better. I should give uh, Rex a good pistol though, because he's a he's the same thing as me, a Vanguard. He uses pistols, or at least he can. Yes, I don't know if combat sensor is like at all useful on the allies. I hear I hear him. Hey, there's our meta gel back. Oh. Alright, I think Rex needs some healing. Might as well heal you too. I do remember liking this part of the uh, game. I don't remember the, the Rachni stuff, Rachni stuff. Okay, virtual intelligence. Okay, that's all off. Power. Oh, I totally passed by that without seeing it. Critical startup error. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. Manual boot required. Manual boot required. The VI core appears in, oper in operational. You can attempt to manually reconfigure the databanks or use OmniJail. Manual reactivation. <laughs> Transfer module stack to core two or three. Okay, yeah, this, uh. <laughs> I know how to play this. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, I gotta do 
like that. I learned how to do this from Knights of the Old Republic. That's some hype up hype music to play there for that little jingle. It looks like you're trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? Crap, a pop-up. <laughs> How do I shut this thing up? Oh, jeez. This system is monitored to respond to That's the so name Mira. May I ask your name? Um, I'm a Spectre. Commander Shepard. I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Council authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to binary helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. Where's Benezia? I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. Ah, uh, give me a damage What's report. the situation here? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? Ah, uh, tell me more about the main reactor. Do you know why the reactor was shut down? I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. Shutdown could occur if reactor breach seems likely, or in the case of catastrophic laboratory containment failure. Emergency guidelines suggest the frigid environment will kill biological contagions. It may also damage mechanical ones. Turn off the heat and hope the cold puts whatever you've unleashed to sleep. Yep, fair enough. Uh, how would I fix that? What do I need to do to get the power back on? The valves to the helium-3 fuel line must be opened. This can be done at the controls on the reactor assembly proper. Uh, Alright, what about these landlines? What are the landlines, and why are they disabled? The landlines connect my mainframes here at Central Station to the various sub-facilities of Peak 15. This allows the crew to remotely access my databases from the comfort and security of their labs. When emergency protocols were implemented within the hot labs, the cabling was automatically ejected. Okay, how do I fix it? How do I reconnect the landlines? The landlines are designed for easy reconnection. The router for the landlines is on the roof of operations. Simply activate the controls and the hardware will reconnect and reboot automatically. Tell me what happened here. Yeah, it's a oh, general sorry, overview. But I need a more specific query. Oh gosh. Uh, what are these hostile creatures? The creatures we've encountered here. Did they come from the labs? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Only executives of Binary Helix have that level of clearance. Well, I feel like I should get that clearance because I'm trying to not die from them. I need instructions on how to repair the station. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? Tell me what happened here. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. sorry, but I need a more specific query. Shut down. Why were you taken offline? In the event, Peak 15 must be sterilized for security purposes. My program and data are purged. They kill you? They kill you if something goes wrong? My systems are permanently disabled. To be killed, I would need to be alive. I am merely a database program. Tell me what occurred immediately before you shut down. Stage 1 alert issued at Hot Labs. Contaminants released from Laboratory Pod Gamma. Emergency protocols implemented. Stage 2 alert issued at Hot Labs. Isolation 2 breached. Tram shut down. Landline to Hot Labs disconnected. Stage 3 alert issued locally. Contaminants in tram tunnels. Station shut down and evacuation initiated. Code Omega sent. What are these contaminants? 
What sort of contaminants escaped? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Only executives of Binary Helix have that level of clearance. Damn bureaucrats. All right, that's all I need. That's all right I now. need. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. So we'll go here first. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Now entering main reactor. What's up, boys? User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Jammed. Oh. I don't like the sound of that. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Oh. Those are scary, I gotta say. Running. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Not Manual restart. Yeah, it's a juggernaut. Fun stuff. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Yes, I get it. Shut up, Mira. Let's try to go this way. Avoid the juggernaut. Now, ah, here's the steps to get up there. Make it a little easier. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to re uh, receive this transmission because of our sacred or our shared plight. You understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the hockey at a cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Ooh, that sounds like a uh, setup for a side quest. I like that you have a Rex along for this. I feel like it's fitting since the Krogan and Rachni have history. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's User a alert. Main much better. Shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Much better, uh... Assault rifle for Garrus. Let's get that on you. Hell yeah. Oh, look at that. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. All patched up. User alert. Main oh my god, Mira, shut, shut the fuck up. Yay, 
night. I wish fixing things was that easy in real life. Just press a button and like fuel lines just get fixed. Something that sounds like it would have a complicated solution. But I guess that's the future. connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Ah! Alright, so can't go to the passenger trams. Can I go this way? I can. Press a button and milk is delivered. Yeah, I mean, it's essentially how they feel. They just don't see the uh, process. Now exiting to the roof. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Take them out. Really gonna get stuck in that geography geography tree. I don't know why I said geography. Perimeter secured. Yay, landlines repaired. Woo! I can level up again. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, screw it. Let's get tactical armor. I can already... Okay, unlocks medium armor. Equip medium armor is all the way up there. I kind of like going for that. Lift also seems super useful. I don't know what to go for. Yeah, I forgot to level them up last time because they had eight points available. Ooh, two more shotguns. Medium armor for Krogan. All right, let's see if my shotguns are better. So the Hurricane versus the Simtar. The Simtar is just way better. Honestly, so is the storm. But the hurricane or the storm might be better than the scimitar part two for your ricks there. A little bit better accuracy rating for a little less damage. Nope. Oh. Change your armor too. Oh, this is way better. Ooh, looks cool too. Hot damn. Look at you. All right. Connections restored. Processing new data. User alert. Unable to connect to hot lab facilities. All right, tell me about the loose contaminants. It's about loose contaminants. Dangerous biological agents are present in the tramway decontamination chamber. The tram station has been sealed in the interest of crew safety. Activation of the fail-safe plasma jets is recommended prior to access. Uh, how do I activate it? How do I activate the fail-safe system? Controls for the fail-safe systems are located in the security checkpoint outside decontamination. User alert. The fail-safe system is currently inoperable. 
and how would I fix it? What would it take to get the decon failsafes operating again? There is a hardware fault in the control system. This can be repaired on site using a standard Omni tool. Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. What's the status of Rick's station? Rick's Rick's station fit has been clean. locked down Hell by yeah. the staff. There are presently no contaminants within the facility. Give me a status report on the hot labs. I am sorry. The network connections to the labs have been damaged. Data is limited. Give me an overview of the facility. The hot labs isolate dangerous biological or cybernetic contaminants during development. The complex is built within a glacier. In the event of an accident, it can be irradiated and sunk into the Ew, ice. interesting. You have no idea what's going on inside. I'm afraid not. My last log entry is shortly after the stage two containment alert was sounded. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging. Yeah, I need to check if I got better armor for myself. I still, God, I still just have Scorpion One, which is like hot garbage. You out. Probably why I'm dying so quick. The decent part of it. Making pretty good money though. Though now I got 10k. Oh. Now entering decontamination oh, and transit hub. If I activate the elevator User while I'm moving alert. forward, it'll like glitch out and in the cause Shepard to turn around. Access to passenger transit. Got the homies. Oh, I see a lot of a lot of red dots on the mini map. Wow, if only I had higher electronics, I could looks like I could kill those all from in here. Whoa. Control group loosen the They're in can't escape. Up the tunnels now. We're sorry. The leads couldn't get to the struck. Come out while you can. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here? Among my people, a suicide body would be left for scavengers. The Nathak will get to him eventually. I need to probably reduce more stuff to Omni Gel. Alright, guess we gotta go in. And I'll just use some of that Omni Gel. Dang, another level up already. Oh, shit. And we're leveling up crazy. Shield boost, that seems nice. So I get carnage on shotgun. Why not do Vanguard? Just flat boost. You. Auto, auto. Oh, oh Jesus! I am almost dead. That's quite something. I ain't looking so good. I can barely heal thanks to the poison. Did 
Departing Central Station. Destination, Rift Station. Damn, that looks so good, that armor. Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. So that looks like the bunks. That's the hot labs. Uh, can't go into the hot labs, so I guess I'm going to the bunks. Oh, no, that's hot labs. What the hell is this then? I don't know. Well, either way, I oh, can only go to here. sure what was on the tramp um expecting hostile company i take it you've encountered those things encountered fought seen men ripped apart by we're all working on stems look you're human and that's enough that i won't shoot but i'd like to know who you are spectre my name is shepherd i'm a spectre huh i won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth the aliens overran the hot labs last week only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. The first we knew, the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. You did well. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Yeah? Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. Oh, I need to talk to her. Anezia. Is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Ooh. What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. Tell me about Rift Station. I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't poke in corners. You survived. I was just impressed with your operation. Being able to weather a week of assaults is no mean feat. Only the best get assigned to high security facilities like this. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. They're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine labs. One guy can lock down the whole facility. Security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. I need to know more about the situation in the hot labs. The facility's off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their death. Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. Fair enough. You're certain the Matriarch is still in the hot labs. She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. When they made it inside, we lost some good people. Those of us left are shorthanded. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Uh oh. Hell. Man the perimeter. Go, go, go! Hold the line! Well. Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. No problem. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Hey, 
Bring over here. Ooh. Nope, that's not something I can interact with. sleep since the attack. Yeah. Is there something you need? What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a non-disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. The location yeah. is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. You're not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. Maybe we're paying for that now. I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ayalis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. Yeah, I'll goodbye. talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Yeah, I'll just uh, crack in your meds. Don't worry about me. Ooh, yeah. Oh, wait, that's heavy armor. Crap. Well, medium armor for Garrus, at least. Although, it looks like... Can you only wear light armor as well? Oh, yeah. Never mind. I know you tell the cure by now. Okay, well, I need some caffeine. I didn't make coffee yet so i'm gonna go do that real quick I'll, i'm gonna take a short break and use the bathroom and stuff like that as well okay sorry about that i'm back i just uh i felt the drowsiness from lack of caffeine kicking on and i was like oh i need to go make something real quick what what, what do you want i don't like your tone uh, what's wrong? Uh, I'm not gonna be a dick. Were they attacked by the aliens? They're suffering from a toxin. It was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. Mm, but you want to, don't you? But you're going to, because I might be able to help. And I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. Oh, fun joke, though, dude. A corporation caring about people's lives over their profits? What? Um, fixed her. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment, and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. Good job. Congratulations. You made an illegal bioweapon. You think to make a cure for it? Our first priority was getting it working. We were close to synthesizing an antidote when Mira went down. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Is it dangerous? Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. Yeah, it can be pretty persuasive. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let oh, me try. Never mind, I, thought... I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. <laughs> yes? What will it take to get the cure for these people? The quarantine labs are near the science team's quarters. Once you're in there, look for our notes. It should just be a matter of following our processes. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. I 
Cozy. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. This uh, this species is super fascinating to me. The way they speak. I was sent here to find an Asari matriarch. Surprised. One has visited recently. Furtively. There are rumors she has gone to the hot lab. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. All right, show me. What Let's you have got. a look. Regretfully, most of my stock is being appropriated by Captain Ventralis. I get a better ar armor upgrade. Light armor costs way too much. Ooh. Yeah, let's get that. Get one of those. I also have some of these, like, shitty tier 1 and tier 2 things. Yeah, it'll work. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. <laughs> All right. Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Do you know President Huerta of Earth? I did not think so. Benezia passed through here. You didn't see her? I saw her. You asked if I knew her. I do not. Okay, well, That's I don't like talking now. to you. You're then grumpy. Then to my meditations. Where did they come from? Were they in the lab? I never went in on my security. All right, let's go over here. Oh, wait, 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 yeah, I think I gotta talk to, uh, Captain again. There's a explanation point over where I think he is. Layout can be a little bit confusing. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. Dr. Cohen says there's no risk of contamination. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before he'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. If that's the only way you'll let us in, I agree. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. Reasonable enough. anymore I'm feeling much better after sipping on some coffee
Hey, there's the uh, Canar guy. You came to find out about them, didn't you? You mean the aliens? You mean those things out there? Yes. I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know. You're not Hanar, uh Volus, that's that's their species, Volus. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Don't screw with There's me, they can't be Rachni. Rachni are extinct. The Krogan wiped them out a thousand years ago. They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. Waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? Okay, so this is the history you were talking about with uh, them. You're going to be crazy. Be the quiet kind. I forgot about that detail. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. I heard you were at the Hot Labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Answer the question. Doctors on Muir. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram, and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. Damn. I closed the door. I killed her. Help me beat them. Tell me what you know. I'll make your survival mean something. You think I want absolution? There is none. Hey, never mind. Uh, you know about Benezia? Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. Okay, well, I'll be looks leaving like now. I can't get anything else out of you. Yeah. Boom! Quickest... Quickest decryption in the West. crew yeah I'm here to make a cure bitch I have Ventralis's permission to go in there yeah he radio he also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out you got a death wish you should stand watches on the barricade all right figure out what we got to do in here We've isolated four chemicals that could be combined to counteract the toxin. They must be mixed in precise quantities. As each chemical is poured, the equipment will mark the minimum and maximum amount that will work. Too little or too much will spoil the result. Okay. This uh, this will be interesting. Okay. Basically four chemicals. The equipment will mark the minimum and maximum. Okay, let's, let's give this a try. Start mixing. Oh, I see. That's not that bad. 
Your mission ends here, Shepard. We'll see about that. Ooh, bitch. Hoo, 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 bitch. Eh, fuck it, just kill her. She's surrounded by Geth and pointing a gun at us. Shoot her! You're not as stupid as you look. Weapons free! Come on. Medi gel up. Okay, well. Did I, uh, I guess I created a cure. That last one, it seemed like I kind of... Commander, looks like that Asari doctor killed the guard. And none of these guys cared or saw it? Eh, whatever. They came out of there. Yeah? You mean the get... The inorganics the Asari had with her. Venezia brought them with her. I get the maintenance. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access, like Doctor Cohen. He's in the medical bay. Cool. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Yeah. It seemed like on the last uh, part of the cure. I like went outside a little bit, but I guess it was it still counted. I was like right on the border. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more of a complicated puzzle than that, but nope. Med bay, med bay's this way. You did it? That Asari scientist, the one in the mess hall, she just tried to kill us. Alestia? That's unbelievable. I... I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess. Sarah and the Spectre. Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look. Guards? They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. I'm gonna hurt somebody. Um, what about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? Do this. The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? You got any mini gel? Could you spare a few medical packs? They're worth their weight in gold up here. You didn't get these from me. And Trollis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. Got you, buddy. See if we can get into maintenance now. So here, restricted area. Don't think I can go there yet. station. Oh, too many gel. This is where the maintenance area is. Okay. Tells me there's going to be enemies back here. I get my pistol. 
this all out. Yep. Damn, I think Rex right Rex ran right into that poison shot. Acid spray, you could call it. Oh, shit. Oh! There she is. Oh. I thought there was more stuff I had to do. Yeah, well, I, screw it. I guess let's stop. Let's let's talk to her. You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. Uh, I'm guessing you won't negotiate. There's obviously no peaceful way to settle this. Indeed. Ooh, the music. Damn. Seems like it's gonna be quite the gauntlet. Oh shit, I'm pressing the wrong button. Right in the head. Getting weaker. I can level up. Yeah, let's uh, let's go for lift. Lift is pretty good. Should probably get a shield boost up. Maybe replace that. Hey, what's up, Sky? How's it going? So I got lifted four. Right, I'm gonna switch back to my shotgun. Work, do it. No, wait, that shield boost. Uh, lift. I have five. I'm gonna switch those. Four, five. <laughs>
Boom. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. What is Saren planning? Start talking, Venezia. What's Saren's next move? I will not betray him. You will. You. You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Ah, uh, missed that. That first pathos, still here for the record, was driving home and then ate. No worries. Uh, Saren's controlling you. Interesting. How can he compel you? He's not even here. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, sovereign. and its power is extraordinary. Is that the one that attacked, the ship Eden, that attacked Prime. Eden Prime? I didn't think anything that size could land on a planet. It has a very powerful Mass Effect drive, but that is not Sovereign's true power. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. Give it to me. Tell me where the Mew Gate is before I lose my temper. Of course, Commander. Ooh. I transcribed the data to an OSD. She's cooperating. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's location isn't enough. We need to know where to go from there. Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You should. You should. Oh, you should. Die. There we go. Well. All right. Let's uh, get some of your abilities up. Barrier. Carnage. Well, unfortunate. I cannot go on. You will have to stop. Hammer angle, Shepherd. though. Y'all there? You're free of the indoctrination again. I still hear it like metal on metal, squealing and reverberating. No light. They always said there would be a. <sighs> Uh, okay, that was a death. That was one of the deaths, death scenes of all time. Can I leave you? No. You're what I'm really interested in. How do I talk to you? You should install an eye tracker. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Oop. Rex. Rex walking away. Oh, I kind of forgot about this. It it can it can turn them into zombies, essentially. We have zero situational awareness, Shepard. This one serves as our voice. 
We cannot sin. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Wait, what? Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange. Flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. This is going to be a fun conversation. <laughs> we are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. Are you controlling the Asari? How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen. They stole our eggs Needlemen? Is that the guess? They sought to turn our or... children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. Makes sense. A baby left alone in a closet until he's 16 won't be sane. Yeah. Good point. All right. I don't think they'll give me much choice anyway. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Scientists, that makes sense. There are acid tanks rigged up on that thing. Set them off. Millions of my ancestors died to put these things down. Don't let them come back. If you kill her, you consign an entire race to death. We should let the Citadel Council decide her fate. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or we turn our people to the silence of memory. Kind of a I See, I don't know the whole history behind the uh, Krogan and the Rachni, so it's like, was it a... Like, was it justified in... Trying to exterminate them? Was it like uh, the Krogan were just warmongers? I don't know. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No. We... I... do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance. Songs the color the of Rachni like just shadows. attacking things in mass? We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. Hmm. Interesting moral quandary here. I kind of agree with Garrus on like, you know, I don't want to be the thing. I don't want to be the cause of just the end of a species. But at the same time, if they, if in the past, they just like indiscriminately attack. Like it's clearly a sentient, a, a sapient being. It can communicate and all that stuff. Oh, not investigate, always investigate. Um, so, I don't want to kill him, but I also don't want to free him. So I'll probably just 
leave it to the council. I won't destroy or, oh, your well, entire race. Never mind, I guess go that free. goes free. Are you stupid? Your people didn't fight these bastards, so maybe you don't get it. Maybe you've been blinded by old war stories. Do what you want. My people will clean up this mess later, just like we did for the Salarians. You will give us the chance to compose a new. We will remember. No, we Rex will didn't like that. Of your forgiveness to our children. Great. Bugs are writing songs about you. Mark my words, you'll regret this. I'm also a pretty big believer in uh, not judging individuals based off of what their ancestors did. I think that leads to a lot of problems. I hate the cold. Well, there you go. What is that? Freaking buzzing. No, now it's over. <laughs> Everyone later pays for ancestors' mistakes. Yeah, we don't stand the Garden of Eden approach, exactly. I kind of like how I got a little, uh, like, Shepard got a little, a little angry at Rex. He's like, look, you weren't there. You are just listening to old war stories. I let him, I let him have it. Ain't a little bitch. Just because he's bigger than me, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna stand down. Oh, hey, there's, uh, Tarta Tartakovsky. Isn't that the guy that made, uh, Samurai Jack? Are you here to secure the situation? Um, you alright? Or I'm a Spectre. That's right. I'm a Council Spectre. Who are you? Base choice. Nice. I am Yaroslav Tartakovsky, the Operations Director. I would stand and shake hand, but, uh, you must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? Talk fast then, buddy. I understand that we'll be dead soon. Talk fast. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. They hatched it? They brought it here to wake it up? Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them create an army but when they get Oof. here they find this egg is not a common rachni it is a queen after she lays eggs they move her to rift station they are thinking that without her they can raise the babies to be obedient yeah you do make a good point pathos That didn't work. Obviously, they were wrong. Uh, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Yep, yeah, 100%. Uh, these this is fascinating, but we don't have time to chat. Well, the queen wanted us to kill the kill these ones, so I'm just gonna kill them. They must be euthanized. Exactly. I am thinking that the neutron purge must be set off. Neutron purge. I'm not familiar with the purge system. It creates burst of neutron radiation, kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Nah. Once the purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give oh, us a minute to patch up. I thought I was going to say, 
I could just kill him all myself. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> Mother always say it's... I would meet a bad end. Dude just sitting in an empty room in the middle of the room is, is kind of weird, not gonna lie. Connecting. I have full access to the facility up again, and Mira. am at your disposal. What is, what is this neutron purge? I need information on the neutron purge. The neutron purge is a fail-safe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. Resolve sounds pretty final. What exactly does this thing do? The Purge is a neutron burst weapon. Two volumes of fissionable materials are brought together to form a critical mass. Most of the energy is released in the form of high-speed neutrons. This radiation is instantly lethal to any known form of life within 500 meters. Nah, just a pleasant afternoon in the sun for a Krogan. The Purge is lethal to all known forms of... Shut up. Last thing I need is some virtual wench questioning my fitness. How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry. The sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate count. Estimate for me. Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, Commander. Bruh. Are there any survivors in here? Lady Benezia, an executive secretary... Oh, she ain't a survivor Phoenix, anymore, sorry. ...is on the operations deck. There are no other living crew members within the lab structure. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach and laboratory pod gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. Well, I guess we're uh, doing it. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Who the heck is this? Are they the Moth Whisperer? Uh, it's, it's a virtual intelligence. Basically just a uh, computer code. It's like Cortana, but like not nearly as cool or smart or hot. Mumble something. What is that? Uh, sick semper turret. <laughs> <laughs> I did not, not think that that code. was what it was going to be. I didn't think he was going to try and make up a code. Who would have those codes? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive officer of Binary Helix. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. We're moving on. Okay, well, all right, Tartakovsky. Give me your codes. Still kills you every time you see that. I am feeling not so well. How do we set off the purge? Armin controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will get near Well. Rip. Oh, shit. I got spit on. Okay, um. Got the purge codes. I kind of feel like, uh. I kind of wish I got Liara before I did this, because it would be super interesting to bring her along and, uh, talking to Venezia. Sick Semper Tyra. <coughs> yeah, that's a, totally the code, right? Online. How can I help you? Activate the, the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. I have it. Code input. Eight seven. You got Doc Ox stab. Code Omega. Local execution. Yeah, six Semper Tyra. Cough, cough, cough. Was not even close. One of the reasons I said do Novaria first was interesting. Oh shit, they ain't happy. Oh shit. Oh my god. I'm not doing too hot. Oh, come on. I didn't want to aim at the wall.
You should use that, and you should use that. And the rest are outside the walls, so I think we're good. But yeah, cool indeed bringing uh, Rex along. Moral, dis moral quandary with him. thinks the combat is not over. These bugs are not going to go down without a fight. Can I warn anyone else? Did everyone else evacuate already? This is not... I don't even know where I'm at anymore. Ah, screw it, let's just get back on the tram. Oh. You guys sure lag behind. Yeah, so the reason I think that was so funny to me, his fake code, is because when it was mumble something, I assumed that it was going to be him just, like, muttering some, like, curse words under his breath or something, like, oh, this stupid piece of shit AI not move, giving Head me the, the access. Um, and so when he muttered the fake code trying to trick it, that, yeah. Uh, there's no point because we don't know the destination. The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The commander's right. We can't rush off blind. We need more to go on. What about Liara Tassoni? The, the matriarch's daughter. Isn't she some kind of expert on the Protheans? Yeah, right. Her mother was working for Saren. I bet she is, too. But Nezia helped us in the end. Maybe Liara will, too. At the very least, we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster to find her. I agree. Who put you in charge? Did the commander resign when I wasn't looking? Oh my god, Ashley, calm down. We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, commander. Don't let it happen again. We're done here. Crew, dismissed. Novaria report is away, commander. You want me to patch you through to the council? Cheer. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, commander. Is this report accurate, commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? Ooh. And then released the queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations They're until they like overrun the galaxy? They won't. I, uh, I talked to her. This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. My children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Hey, y'all. It's Crazed here. Just wanted to throw together this little outro to let you know that it will be stream when I stream this session. It went on for, like... I don't know five and a half six hours something like that it was crazy long longer than i want to put in a single video so just gonna split it into a two-parter and this was a pretty nice transition point right after novaria next video will be uh you know the stuff with the asteroid if you know you know um which i mean to be honest y'all probably do know but either way uh yeah hope to see y'all there hope you're liking the series and yeah later